What is up guys, welcome to my review of Transformers The Last Night. And I'm gonna say this right off the bat. This movie isn't terrible, but it's not great. I'm I'm gonna be real here. It's not what I was hoping it was gonna be. It didn't beat out my girl's feel. But I can tell you this. It has now taken second place in my favorites for Transformers for the franchise. For the franchise in general. So, um. Obviously. I have my three favorites. I mean, two favorites up here because we're, um, we're going to fall in Dark of the Moon. Of course, I say two because even though I love three of them, um, I the last night is not on Blu-ray, and when it does, we'll be doing a big review if they do actually release an ultimate edition, and then I'll review that, and then it will be up here with the with these three films that I love so very very much. Um, so anyway. This movie is action-packed, need I say that. Um, if there is one problem that I have with it, it is the fact that it doesn't have the rewatchability factor that I was hoping for. I mean, there are some characters that obviously have rewatchability factor, like Nemesis Prime. Yeah, Nice Robots in Disguise reference. Um, Unicron, obviously, G1. Um, big tie in between season 2 and 3, um, which I reviewed Transformers and the Transformers the movie. Um, so then there's everything else. Um, got all the, the weird pervy scenes, got all the. You have at least two racial stereotype things in the film. Well, in a Michael Bay film, that's kind of needed because you can't really take him seriously. He's a com he's more or less a comedy action type guy. So of course then you have the beautiful action in CG, which is oh. But I would say don't bring your kids to this if you're expecting oh it's just gonna be like the past four or past three, because I don't even think Age of Extinction is a movie. Um I think that movie is a terrible film and it's yeah. so what I have done is I I didn't think about doing it when I did my Wonder Woman review so I'm gonna have to give that score after this even though if you saw my Wonder Woman review you know the 10 out of 10 that I'm gonna give it so in grade as in like things, I'm going to give it a B+, plus, but out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7.5, so, but for Wonder Woman, of course, I gave it an A+, plus, so it gets a 10 out of 10, so it's a perfect film for me, everything I would have wanted out of a Wonder Woman film and more. By the way, I'm wearing a Dexter's Laboratory shirt, totally unrelated to Transformers, I just want to wear a Dexter's Laboratory shirt for this review. Because I have no Transformer shirts that fit. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't wear it. Anyway. So, leave your thoughts on um, Transformers The Last Night down in the comments. I mean, I know a lot of people didn't like it. But, I mean, Alex didn't even like it from the Rage Nation. But that's because he went in with a mindset that said, You know what? I want this to happen, this to happen, and this to happen. And I don't blame him for that. I kind of went in with that mindset too. But when things that I expected to not happen, not happen, I was like, okay, things just don't happen. But, um, of course, he had that problem, and he was very disappointed, and I'm not blaming him for that. I mean, he went in with mammoth expectations, and he was just disappointed by what he got, and to be honest, if I was him, I, st I would have been disappointed too. Because you speculate, you speculate 
you speculate for three years on a movie and then things that you speculate about may happen and then they don't happen and Alex then the majority of the things that Alex predicted didn't happen some of them did happen but not all of them and if you don't know what I'm talking about go watch his previous um road to TF5 videos surprisingly he didn't make it to 200 I was expecting him to make it to 200 because in Age of Extinction he about made it 300 he was halfway to 300 and then he stopped because Age of Extinction came out I remember Watching Age of Extinction for the first time. I'm not reviewing that for you guys, by the way. Yeah. Never mention in my streams, because I will ban you. I will block you, and you will never be allowed to come back. Please, I don't like blocking people. Especially people that talk about terrible movies. I mean, if you like Age of Extinction, then say before you type it in, I like Age of Extinction, this is my opinion. And then I'll be cool with it. But if you just type in Age of Extinction is the best movie ever with no reason or it's your opinion or you don't say it's your opinion, then I'm going to block you. So Anyway, that's all I have to say for you guys. Um, My next review will be Beauty and the Beast, the new version. And then after that, Logan. Uh, I already saw Logan, so I'm going to review that finally. Should have reviewed that way back in March when I saw it. But quick note, I need to say this very fast. I have 20 more films that I want to see this year. So I have seen 4 out of 24 of the films that I've wanted to see. So that means I have seen 6% of films of this year that I want to see. Other films include... my. I'm going to go with my top 10. Even though one of them shouldn't be on there, I accidentally put that up there. But it should be down lower in my top 20. Because of... I don't like that character. Justice League is number one, obviously. Before, after Wonder Woman came out and I saw it and thought it was amazing. Justice League came in, was number two, and now it's number one because I saw Wonder Woman. Guardians 2, John Wick Chapter 2. I still haven't seen it. Still looking forward to it, though. Life, uh, um, no. The Lego Batman movie is number four. Haven't seen that either. Looking forward to seeing it. Life. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Get Out, I'm a huge horror fan. Um, Obviously, same for life, I'm a huge horror fan. So, I love Nightmare on Elm Street, I love Scream. As you've seen my stream, I love Scream 2. Um, it's one of my favorite horror films of all time. Second, no, it is my favorite horror film of all time. My second is Nightmare on Elm Street, and then third is Friday 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Um, then, of course, we have another horror film. It 2017, the new iteration. Hopefully you can live up to the original. Don't think it will, but I hope it does. Spider-Man Homecoming, that shouldn't be there. I'm not excited for that. My dad isn't even excited for it. I'm tired of having three Spider-Mans in one decade. We don't need it all. Um, So in place of that, I'm going to put Baby Driver. Because that was my original number 10. And I thought about it after seeing Spider-Man Homecoming's trailer in theaters. When I go went to go see Transformers, I was not very impressed. Um... Then at number 9, we have Alien Covenant. That should also be replaced because I have Thor Ragnarok up there at number 9. Um, and then number 10 would be War for the Planet of the Apes. I did not bring this war. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that movie. comes out next week, actually. So I'm really hoping that it is good to me. I love the first two. Hopefully it lives up to the expectation. I mean, Chris Duckman gave it an A+. That's his first A+, of the year, surprisingly. Jeremy Johns gave it an awesome tacular. And um, uh, it's getting good reviews on other stuff. Don't think that I'm going to hate it like I will Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, I'm still going to watch it. Maybe on demand in a few years. Maybe that's when I'll watch Spider-Man Homecoming. Before I die in... Yeah. I'll watch Spider-Man Homecoming before I die. Like, the day that I die, I'll watch Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm not even joking. That's what will happen. And I won't even finish it because I'll probably die before it ends. And I'll slack off watching one Marvel movie that I know I don't want to see. But I'm still going to see it. Like, regardless. Um... 
Other films include Power Rangers, Star Wars The Last Jedi, which I'm surprised didn't make it to my top 10, Ghost in the Shell, The House, Dunkirk, Valerian, and the City of a Thousand Planets, Atomic Blonde, and It Comes at Night. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you all in my next movie review, which will probably be Beauty and the Beast, if that's not my next stream at, ma at maximum. So anyway, guys, um, I'm sorry for deleting the Nice Guy stream. I was just dissatisfied with it, so I'm going to retry it. Um, but tonight is going to be Our Brand is Crisis. Whew. Or, or, I'm going to do The Shallows or Get Out. Not Get Out. I forgot the movie, or Jason, I want to try and do a Friday the 13th movie, because I did a Scream movie, and now I want to do Friday the 13th, and I want to do a Night on the Street and Halloween film, because it just feels wrong without those three classics. I mean, Scream's a classic, obviously, it holds a nice place in my heart, Um, but tonight is going to be Friday the 13th, probably, probably I might even do it in a few minutes, who knows? Just stay tuned on the channel for the streams, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.